Hey beauties! Welcome back to my channel. Today is another episode of Cooking with Tia. So today guys, we are going to be making a restaurant favorite today. Guess what it is? Drum roll please. Guys, we are going to be making buffalo chicken rolls. Buffalo chicken rolls guys seems to be a fan favorite in popular restaurants like Grand Lux Cafe and also Cheesecake Factory that has Buffalo Blast and they are delicious and today we are going to be making a copycat buffalo chicken roll so if you guys want to see this video then definitely stay tuned so before we get started guys you already know what to do go ahead and hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up turn on that post notifications button and also keep up with me on all of my social medias so let's get started all right guys so it wouldn't be a cooking with Tia video without my special chef hat and my little chef robe so I'm about to put that on for you guys now it's cooking with Tia episode all right guys so we got on our chef uniform and these are the ingredients that you will need to make the buffalo chicken rolls so you will need some flour some egg roll wrappers, some chicken bread, buffalo sauce, of course, this is like the main ingredient, a little Romano cheese, some mozzarella, and also some buttermilk and some seasonings to season your flour with and also your chicken. All right, so we're gonna start here with this mixing bowl and a nice cutting board and we're gonna go ahead and cut up this chicken and put it into our mixing bowl and then we're gonna season it a little and we're actually gonna boil the chicken all right guys so first thing you want to do is just take your chicken breast and dice them up into medium size pieces and then from there, just put them all into your mixing bowl. Then you want to go ahead and season your water with a little bit of adobo and a little bit of onion salt and let that come to a boil. Once that water comes to a boil, you want to go ahead and add in your chicken. And then let your chicken boil for about seven to eight minutes. And then you wanna take out your chicken. Make sure you drain all of that water because you don't want any water getting into that batter. So our chicken is done boiling and we're gonna go ahead and season it now. We are gonna season our meat with a little paprika, a little bit of onion salt because our wing sauce is salted already so we don't want these to be too salty at all. Some adobo, some garlic powder, and a dash of cayenne. So just you don't need too much just a sprinkle So now we're going to mix all of those seasonings up. Chicken should look something like this with the seasoning on it. And from here we are going to go ahead and take a fork and we're going to shred the chicken up just a bit. I suggest using a spoon and fork to help you break up the chicken because you don't want huge chunks inside of the egg roll 
you want them to be like kind of bite-sized pieces okay so your chicken should look something like this once you've done breaking it up so now we're gonna take our flour that we have prepared and we are gonna use those same seasonings and add them to our flour. So we're just seasoning with a little bit of garlic powder, paprika, onion, salt, and adobo. And then just go ahead and mix those seasonings in with the flour. Perfect. All right, so let's add in our buffalo sauce and cheese. These are buffalo chicken rolls, so I may be just a tad bit heavy-handed on the buffalo sauce. I would say I added about two heaping tablespoons of buffalo sauce. And we're actually going to give that a mix. It smells so good already. This is what it should be looking like once it's all mixed up in the buffalo sauce. And now we're going to add cheese. So I'm going to add the Romano cheese first. And you can add any cheese that you like. Alright, so we're going to just take a sprinkle of the Romano cheese. And now it's time to add the mozzarella. I'm gonna use more mozzarella than we did the other. Nice. So now we're gonna mix our cheese and chicken all together. So now it's time to wrap up your egg roll. So make sure you have a little water bowl and you wanna wet the edges of each side of the egg roll wrapper. Then you wanna take about a hefty two tablespoons of your chicken and cheese mix. Add a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top of that mix and then you wanna wrap up your egg roll and there are directions on the package of how to wrap up the egg roll and then just wet each end and then wrap it tightly and then wet it again because you want to keep your egg roll closed the whole time so I'm just going to show you guys again wet your edges of all the egg roll then add about two tablespoons of the chicken and cheese mix then you want to take one and add a little bit of mozzarella on top take one corner and then the other two corners and conceal it with more water then you want to roll it up nice and tightly and then seal it up again so the restaurant I see has like some double batter kind of thing so I'm gonna fry some of them as is and then I'm gonna try two of them with the whole double batter thing and see if the double batter comes closest to the copycat of the buffalo chicken rolls. So I have here the seasoned flour and some buttermilk. And I'm basically gonna take one of the egg rolls and toss it in the flour. So it's like nice and coated in the flour. Then we're gonna dump it in the buttermilk Push it around in there. Let that excess buttermilk drain off. And then back in the flour. And make sure that you were preheating your oil around this time because you don't want to put something like this in some cold oil. So we're just going to put that on the plate. Take another one of these, toss it in the flour, dip it in the buttermilk. And then back in the flour. Perfect. So we got two of them floured and th four of them 
normal. So I'm gonna go rinse off my hands and then we're gonna get to frying these babies. Now guys, you wanna just fry your egg rolls until they're a nice goldeny kind of brown color and just take them out as they're done. They're not gonna all finish at the same time, but just wait until they're all nice and golden brown and take them out of your fryer. And be careful. All right, so the egg rolls are ready. They look good. We gotta cut them open now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got my little plate here. So we are about to kind of stack them how they do at the restaurant. And these are the finished product. Yummy, cheesy, spicy buffalo chicken rolls. They are so delicious. They could be used as like a snack. You could turn it into a meal. You could have it as like a party snack. They are absolutely delicious and they're so good and so crunchy and amazing. You guys definitely have to give it a try. I completely got overwhelmed by the deliciousness of these chicken rolls and I forgot to close out this video guys so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Comment below any video ideas that you guys would like to see from me. Bye guys!